Kei a mātou ngā kara kimi kuri i te mau te rō re kohu me te hau kāinga nei. Kai whakangau puaka Daryl Frazier, gaua te puaka kuri mā. Kā tahi au, kā ki te atu i ngā mahi tūnā te tangata hi i kā Peter Thomas, tēnā tītirohia. Waka ki Aotearoa, ki te eke waka rererangi, ki a tai atu ki te motu o rekohu. Kua tai atu tā tau ki te whango o waitangi, ki te tūtaki e tahi o te hunga mahi kai oko nei. He pō kare oke kei te haere ki te pāpara kauta, nō reira, ka whakaputa hingia ngā mahi e rua ki a paia ke te haere. Tēnō pairawa tū te tūna hei tīmatanga mō te rangi, kā rawe. What sort of eels you get around here, bro? Oh, we get the short and the long fin, which is the the normal, I guess. These ones here would be um, short fin, I'd say. Um, But the ones we get down the bottom in the creek here, most of them are long fin, long fin eels. And they come in all shapes and... Sizes in all different colours too. Yeah, yeah. You no, know, with the peat peat water we've got here, um, they get really dark, real black, um, and then in the freshwater lakes up in Kaingaroa they're a gold colour. Uh, in the Huru here they're green, and um, up in Kaingaroa top side of um, of uh, Kaingaroa they're a gr- light grey white. So um, yeah, four different colours there. And that's your secret weapon there, your Dutch net. Yeah. Yep. No. How many? How many you did in there, Rick? Oh, we've had um, a couple of hauls of 200, 250 kilos. And one. And one net. Yeah. And what are those holes down there? These things here. What are these for? Um, they're um, skate gaps. Yeah. They let the smaller ones out. I think they're 40 mil. Those ones. Yeah. So anything 40 mil and under, um, you can get out. A bit of a conservation method, I guess. George, mate. Yeah. What about you, Dan? What sort of coloured pigs you get? You get green ones, black ones, white ones, you <laughs> do? <laughs> yeah, all sorts of colours here, mate. Yep. We're going to head up for a bit of a hunt. Yeah, mate. Some mate's going to go over the other cameraman and uh, set the head nugget here, brother. Cool. Yep. That's, That's the plan. And we'll rendezvous down at the local uh, for the big karaoke night. What do you reckon? Maybe you won. Bit of a competition, you think? Pound for pound, what do you reckon? you got to catch as much weight and eels as we catch a pig. I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. Sound good? I'll give it a go. <laughs> so there you have it, Fano. The challenge is on. A couple of local boys going to take on the old Kiwi. How do you reckon, man? Mm, sounds good, Let's mate. Let's go and catch us a pig and let this fella go and catch somebody. Slimy eels, no worries. <laughs> Fraser and um, I'm going to take Howie for a hunt up the back of Waitangi here. Uh, it's an old hunting ground of mine, I've been hunting here for a few years now and hopefully we can get a pig. Oh, I'd like to now for the fitness mate and the scenery eh? and watching the dogs work, it's awesome. Good little posse here bro. Yeah mate, it's not a bad spot eh, Howie? A few pigs here? Yeah, hopefully, hopefully the usual is. You can blame me if you don't get one anyway. <laughs> yeah, mate, sounds good. <laughs> and you're running your pack, they all find us or what? Yeah, mate, just find the balers, eh? Uh, got a couple of trainees in there, but. You got a spare tracking column? I'm going to stick one on there, I might get lost too. <laughs> I yeah, hope mate. not, mate. <laughs> well, hopefully, you'll catch a pig, eh, bro? Yeah, mate, that sounds good. Sweet. Kwa pau te rua te kau minichi, a, ka ore anō mātou ki a kite e tahi māka. O tira, ka kuhu mātou ki roto rawa i te ngāhere. I came up here about a week ago, eh, and I got a fucking um, oh, sour bale up the ground. Oh, yeah? 
Yeah. And then from there, my dogs went and found another little ball, about 70 pounds, and about four and a half k's that way. Hey, fa kilometer, fa no. Ko te ahua nei he rangi tino roa kei te haere ake. Me hari a mai te motu pai ka Daryl ka tika. We'll be up around there, yeah. Sort of around the 250 mark. Haven't you come across a fresh print yet? Hey, haven't you come across a fresh print? Ko te poru pora ha te take i penei ai te ahua o ngā koawa i rekohu. Kua kōrero a pita mō ngā tuna pango ka kite i roto i nei wai. Hei tā Daryl, ka taia te inui i nei wai. Engari, pai tonu a hau ki ngā wai tepe, wai kūpapa o roto rua. Around there somewhere. That's a good sign, ever. Yeah, mate. Yeah, it's got a fish on your own. I've only been pumping these hills for a while, or what they call hills over here. Or like pimples back from where we come from, bro. Hey, you've been a spoiled over here, mate. <laughs> I suppose you're a bit of easy terrain, mate. <laughs> not much fresh sign around, ever. No, it's not if you mate. Strange for up here. Any wild cattle around? Yeah, yeah, definitely heaps of them. Locally, pretty seven bit luck than us, mate. Yeah, mate. Yeah. Kau tonu taku hoa Daryl ki tona fainga ara te fifi poaka ki te kore ka kite e te motu tona mana heke. Kia hoki anō ki te taki wā waitangi, kua haere a pita ki te mātaki i ona kūpenga tuna. Kia ora, I'm Peter Thomas from Chatham Islands of Ngāti Mūtanga descent. And I own and run a small fish factory on the Chathams. We come down to the creek here, Whangaru Mino. Um, just to have a look, see if we've got any eels in the net. Howie's out having a bit of a pig hunt with Daryl and we've got a bit of a bet on. See if I can catch a, the same weight of eels as he's going to catch in pigs. <laughs> so uh, we'll just go have a look, see what we've got. Oh, a bit of mud around. This is a, uh, one of the good old Dutch fluke nets. Um, pretty deadly, actually. They're good catches. Uh, hopefully they are, anyway. Oh, yep. A couple there. The beauty's there. Uh, these guys here will be uh, getting ready to head out to sea. Um, it's sort of like the last month, really, that they'll hang around. And then they'll head off into the deep in, uh, for breeding season. Um, yeah, there's a couple of good size, good size eels here, that's for real. They say that the uh, bigger eels come down from the lakes and they move the smaller eels out of the rivers into the sea, so they, uh, it gets them on their way. So um, I like letting this, the bigger buggers go as well. Um, we only keep the mediums for eating. and uh, So I think I'll just let these guys head back to the ocean. There they go. So hopefully it's a true story and they go and do their job. As you can see, the watercress in the creek and the eels and uh, the pigs that they can catch. And, uh, there's no shortage of food here. So, um, and this is home, so um, no, it's, a, it's a real good place to live, good place to bring up the kids. Um, they harden up real fast and <laughs> most of them are adults before they're uh, 10. Kia ora whānau, no mai hara mai ki tēnei wahanga o Huntin Aotearoa, kōrero a whina mō tēnei wiki. And today we're talking about a bit of dog care, because as you know, dog is a man's best friend. And when you're a hunter, it does make probably 80, 90% of the work. So Adam, 
What do we do with our dogs, mate? If you want to take a bit of extra care with them. Well, what we've got to realise, Howie, is when we when we are out hunting, we're sweating a lot. Um, we lose a lot of uh, electrolytes out of our out of our system and a lot of sugars. Um, no different to the dogs, and in fact, it's probably more so with the dogs because they're working that much more. So um, what we do is um, we have a good meal before the start of the day to get the energy back up and we take um, um, energy drinks and, and stuff like that with us. So it's not too good to do what they had done in the old days and starve the dog before actually going out for a hunt? No, I, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, what you've got to keep in mind is that the dog is, um, the only thing that drives the dog is its hunger. Okay, so the thing is it wants to get out there, it wants to find food um, and it could pick up any dead off along the way. And as we know, you know, with the amount of poison out there, um, there's a high risk of the dog getting poisoned. Um, so the simple thing is give the dog a small meal during the day. One of the other things to do is go down to the supermarket, um, grab a jar like this, um, keep it full with glucose, okay, or glucose lollies, mix it with some water, and if the dog's been working out and it's panting, give it a squirt in its mouth and put it in a dog bowl. Um, it gives that dog that extra second wind um, and puts much more life back into the dog, it really does. Okay, well, getting on to uh, poisons now. What sort of poisons uh, are out there that, that affect well, dogs? Well, I mean, we all know that it's 1080 is probably the most um, prolific one out there. Um, it's probably the worst one uh, that we know of. Um, there's also cyanide, which is also a major one. So, um, good thing to do is ring up EPRO. Okay, they control and govern pretty much all the poisons that's been laid um, around our country. So, and what they can supply you with is some dog emetic pools. Okay, that'll just help the dog, if it does get poisoned, um, just puts a little bit more life into it so we can get it back to the vet and hopefully the vet can uh, save its life. Um, another thing to do um, while we're out there is um, very simple, baking soda and water or a salt and water solution. Um, try and get the dog to vomit. Um, some guys put a dishwashing um, that I've heard, dishwashing solution down the dog to try and get it to vomit. But the important thing to remember is the dog must vomit. Okay, if it doesn't vomit, the dog's dead. Simple as that. Interesting thing is also rat poison. Uh, rat poison has a very similar symptoms to 1080 poison. Okay. Um, solution for that is vitamin K, which we need to get the dog as soon as possible. Once again, no vitamin K, dog's dead. So look after your dog and the dog will look after you, mate. It's your best friend. Choice. See there, have fun, a bit of dog care. Look after your dog and look after you. Or that a queen at the court of Afina. Santa Galley, a bit more. You're giving us a bit of a run around today, mate, the pigs. Oh, I hope they're on to something. You been hunting long? Yeah, about, oh, should be around 10 years now. Who got you into it? I just started going out for a couple of mates and um, you got my own pack together after, you know, six months or a year or so and then I was into it, away. I suppose you'd be third person if you hunt, so? Yeah, mate, there's a few hunters on the island, eh? Well, what else apart from pigs? Um, oh, there's wild cattle and that, wild bulls. Um, wild sheep. Here, yeah, the wild sheep sort of live on the south end of the island on the cliffs. You know, they go run on the edge of the cliffs and stuff like that, so you've got to shoot them with a rifle from a few distance. Still yeah. a few numbers here, animals? Yeah, mate, yeah, there's still a few around, eh? Yep. Yeah. Now, what's this I hear about the old bulldog in cattle, mate? Is it a myth or what? Yeah, no, mate. Um, some guys got um, you know, dogs that go out there and pull the old cattle down, and you just got to run in there and do your business. So I'm just catching the old wall, wall pick. You reckon? Just a bit bigger. Well, do you feel it's going to bullshit as much as you want to me? I wouldn't know it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Good dogs are doing fine. You've got to get down. you got to beat my meat. <laughs> Fucking heaps of rooting back there. Hope it's a big bastard. Woo, Titi no Fano, Bawaira, E Punua Puaka Pai. Oh, where him, Mamai Taringa? Keiko Nao. Ah, Daryl on the hooky. Ha, man, we're all here. E koa na au ke te mau tonu a Daryl ki tona mana. Ko te mano re kohu a nō hoki. Wai marie. 
And there you go, Fana. All good things come to those who are patient, no brother? That's right. Awesome. Sweet mate. Good news. Come here. Another good, good eater. Here, yeah, mate, it's a good eater. Oh. Give us a bit of the run around there, bro. Yeah, mate, yeah. Let's drop your old kill, eh? I thought it was a bloody bull at first when they started bailing for a while. Same, mate. I sort of slowed down when I heard the squeal there. Yeah, mate. Oh, gee, bro, these are the best eaters, mate. These little fat ones. Yeah, definitely. What do you go, about 80 pound, eh? Yeah, mate, yeah, should be a good 8 pounder, eh? Well, unfortunately, we got no uh, string between the two of us, so he's kind of cut some of the hide off and tied the legs together. Never seen that done before. Just have to make do with what you got, I suppose. You didn't learn it from that idiot man from the wall, did you? <laughs> eh? <laughs> That'd be good for our next tip, Fana. He's actually, hey man, the cameraman, we're looking at my shoelaces. I don't think so. Right, right, right. Just make sure it's the skin there, not the flaps, eh? Like passing to the old ruddy flaps there, brother. Some good ears, mate. I'll save that for you. I've seen some of these things on some of those fellas in those, some of those couple hugger groups, bro. <laughs> hey, bro, what do you fellas do over here in the way of butchery? Do it yourself, eh? Yeah, mate. Yeah. No abattoirs over here? No, no, it's not. Closed down quite a few years ago. So she's all um, self-butchered down here, mate. Here we go, little hole, bro. Right. Come on, bro. Sweet ears, bro. And that's how these locals improvise, bro. Look at that raw hide on the back, and we're away. Hey, brother. I reckon you look good on the G-string, singing like a virgin. <laughs> I reckon. Now, mate, we got the pig, brother. That's us, mate. Peter sounds like a bit of a Tom Jones man, so he'd be right too. What do you reckon? Hey. Hopefully, good. He's got, hopefully he's got a few, a few tuna for us when we get back. Yeah. Sounds good. Mean, bro. Awesome. Too much. Too much, bro. That's us, man. Eh? Ka hoki anō ki te koa wā, ā, ah, ke te whakarita a pita ki te tango i tōna kūpenga tati. Au oh, e te maha hoki o ngā tūna. Hey brother, ho! Oh. Still see you here? Come on, come on, come on, those look like you already had those. Hey, I have hey. cover those on, I'll have a look in here. Yeah, how do you get on? Yeah, we got a pig, mate. Good one? Oh, I'll tell you how heavy it is after you weigh your wheels. <laughs> but these ones don't count, over. Eh, hey, the mate. ones in this net that count. These are the ones I got this morning. Is that right? They're the evening one. Oh. <laughs> what do we do first? I'll, I'll, I'll grab that at the end and uh, we'll pull her up and have a look, see what's in there. We're not going to get wet. Not here, brother. <laughs> <laughs> not here. Oh, it looks empty to me, brother. <laughs> hey. Taken from the, the old timey netters. Oh, there's a few little ones there. Well, there's one big fellow in there. Yeah. Choice. The old guys say that uh, your earling months are the months in, with Aaron. And um, the months that they're they're not here, uh, all the rest, except August, maybe. August, eh? <laughs> maybe August got an R in it. You might get a few from in August. <laughs> yeah, okay, reflecting back to these Chatham Islands dictionary again. <laughs> what do you reckon about these ones, bro? A bit small, eh? Yeah. I used to make these whole, all right, but um, we've got a few of those already, so we'll let these ones out. I'll let these fellas. Back to sea. They find their way back down nice, will they? They sure do. So when people uh, talk about Pitta, they say, oh, he's the eel man. 
<laughs> Never you're on. I think there's a few more than Peter. They don't actually, they don't actually call you the eel man, man. They call you, yeah, Peter, that slippery fella. Is it? That'd be it. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be what about, more likely. What about these ones, bro? Where are these bound for? Oh, I Destin's think we'll um, we'll take them and split them ones. They're not too bad. Um, so yeah, we'll take a take them and split them. They might give you something to take home if you like. Have because because you you released them, brother. I think we might. Uh, Call it uh, a tyre now, but he bet and we'll, uh, I'll let you buy me a couple of rounds and I'll buy you one. How's that sound? It depends on how good you can sink. Joyce, bro. <laughs> and we'll uh, catch you at the old uh, karaoke bar. Yeah, no Is worries. Be good. Sweet as, man. I can look at that. Ka tahi te rangi pai e mahi tahi ana me Daryl rawa kopita. He mahi tūturu te mahi kai ko nei i rekohu. He mahi kai, he patu kararehe, ara hoki, he tiaki i te tai awe noho nei tā tau ngā hua te mahi aru aru. Ngā mihi ki a koutou kato o rekohu, i ka hamanaki i a mātou i rungi te aroha. Ngā mihi ki a koutou. Kia ora to all of, all of you, Chatham Islands. What I like about you guys is you're more or less here. You're being yourselves and you're saying to New Zealand, Get him behind, that's right. I don't know the witness carrying. Kua puta te kōrero mo te pō kareoke. Ha, ki i katoa te pāpala hoki. Kua tua pita ki te waiata. Kaore i te rite ki a Tom Jones hoi anō, ka mihi tonu mo te mahi. Anō nei, kei roto tonu a Daryl i te ngahere e hunana. Hei ora ngā anō mōna. Ha, ah, kua riro mā māua ko te kai whakaahu a Richie, hei whakapiki ki taumata ke. Haira, te aroa kei roto i te whare. And that's hunting all te aroa. Oh, no. This is what the crew get up to when the cameras Hono mai anoa tērā wiki Kia haere tā tau marunga waka rererangi mai i rekohu Ki rangi auria Ki reira whakangau poaka tahi me te toa sēr Kā tahi, puihia he hipi puihi e tos mā mātou E nei mahi katoa Kei runga i te hōtaka mahi aru aru motu hake o te motu Ko hantina o te aroa Nah, I think she'll tip over on the other side of the hill there somewhere, I think. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Do not give the dog CPR um, if it's been eating poison. Oh, no, no, no. no, it's true. <laughs> it's true, mate. You can give a dog CPR. If I don't know my heart, I might get in there one more hand in. Just let it see what happens if it lets it go for a second. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Good idea there, Phil.